This is Inside Space Flight for May 2nd, 2010. And in space news today, Florida Today reports that SpaceX is planning to launch the maiden flight of their Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida as early as next week. The history-making launch is targeted for May 11th during a four-hour launch window that opens at one in the afternoon Eastern Time. Falcon 9 has been at the launch site for the past several months undergoing integration, testing, and checkout for what will also be the maiden launch of the Falcon from the Florida launch pad. SpaceX has conducted several countdown rehearsals and recently fired the Falcon 9's first stage engines on the launch pad for several seconds as a final test firing of the rocket's power plant. The Falcon 9 and Dragon spacecraft are being designed to fly both cargo and astronauts to the International Space Station and other destinations. However, the first missions for Dragon will, car will carry cargo only to ISS. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the spacecraft could make its first passenger carrying trips to the space station within about three years of being given the go-ahead from NASA. On the cargo side, SpaceX has a $1.6 billion contract from NASA to launch 15 Falcon 9 rockets. The first three will be test flights to prove the vehicle and Dragon spacecraft, and then there will be 12 follow-on operational missions to deliver cargo to ISS. If that is successful, future options could increase the value of the contract to $3.1 billion. The company also has launch contracts for customers in Argentina, Canada, Europe, Israel, and various customers in the United States. SpaceX currently employs about 100 people at Cape Canaveral, but is ramping up the workforce rapidly. The number could grow to 200 by the end of 2010 and eventually reach 1,000 personnel. These jobs will help in a small way to offset the potential loss of 10,000 or more jobs at Kennedy Space Center when the space shuttle is retired later this year. While new launch vehicles historically have about a 50-50 shot of success on the first launch, for SpaceX the pressure is even greater for a successful mission since the company is being held up as the model for the future of human space exploration as well as being one of the companies NASA will have to rely on for its own space transportation needs. Without a doubt, the inaugural Falcon 9 mission will be taken as a bellwether of President Barack Obama's plan to kill NASA's Constellation program to return astronauts to the moon and instead invest in developing commercial space taxis for astronauts traveling to ISS and low Earth orbit while focusing in-house talent on developing technologies for sending humans into deep space. However, before anyone starts counting chickens, SpaceX's Falcon 9 has to leave its nest and take flight. For the company, as well as observers around the world, the date to watch is May 11. If the launch is successful, it will usher in a new era for Cape Canaveral and begin to pave the way for the future of commercial space transportation. If it is not, then, for many, all bets are off. While SpaceX would continue to perfect the rocket, many in Congress and the public will be left scratching their heads wondering, what next? But no matter what, you can bet that SpaceX is in the game for good. And that's what's going on in space on May 2nd, 2010. This has been Inside Space Flight. You can watch our archive of podcasts and our longer programs by going to InsideSpaceFlight.com. And for more space news and multimedia, visit our sister organization, The Spacearium, at SpaceFlightNews.net or Spacearium.com. And be sure to tune in again for the next installment of Inside Space Flight.